All right, let's face it, y'all. When you think of the scariest Mario enemies, you can't have a definitive answer. And I'm not sure if we're still gonna have a definitive answer because we're gonna react to a top 10 of the scariest Mario enemies. And I haven't seen this particular video in a while. So continuing on with the Mario week, since you know we had the, the Mario movie poster and trailer, I guess why not? Let's continue with it and then starting from Monday forward, we'll dive into some more October themed things, but let's see what this top 10 has in store for us. BBQ's old intro with the Halloween mixture. It's that time of the year again. The time where I make my usual scary top 10. Scary. Last year, it was all about creepy characters in Zelda games. Well, this, this video is year, very old. it's all about Nintendo's main mascot, Mario. Mm -hmm. yep, the Mario universe seems fun and happy all the time, but trust me, there are some I don't scary know what kind of footage things this happening is. in the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm Nico BBQ, and here is my top 10 scariest Mario enemies. Number 10. This is Yoshi's Island Chain music, are so... Chain enemies in the Mario universe. Sometimes they are small, sometimes Chain they chomps? are big, but usually they are chained to a pole or something, so it's no biggie, they're not really scary. Well, in Yoshi's Island, there is a new variety of Chain Chomp. And by that I mean the giant ones running at you, clapping their teeth, ready to tear oh. you apart. I mean, bro, I'm just trying to save this really baby scary, over dude. here. Give me a break, why are you trying to eat me like that? And they don't only come after you, sometimes they freaking jump out of the background to try to eat you from up above. Now that's kind of aggressive, don't you think? Aggressive but not scary. And that's the theme, right? Number 9. I love Super Mario World. Such good memories. Mario but World. Not everything is bright and good. In World 2, you end up in the first ever underwater level of the game and are greeted with a couple of cheap cheap and fish. Ah, eh, not a problem. That is until you meet this guy over there. Yes, oh, the Rip Van Fish. You. Rip Van Fish. Yeah, that's his name according to Games Credits. Anyway, this little fish is sleeping, and if you move too close to him, well, he wakes up and expects to have a delicious breakfast. Yes, I mean you. I was scared of this enemy when I was a kid, but then again I was five, so that's my excuse. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's still a scary enemy. No, it isn't. It's just, an, it's more of an annoying enemy than scary. Super Mario Bros. 3 is one of my favorite Mario games. Mario 3 is going to do it. Like there's nothing really scary in it. But think again. In World 3, there's one stage in which the player... Oh, the boss bass, you know? I mean, underwater combined, like, in Mario 3 and Mario 64, so the boss bass is kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. Or stay out of the water. But then again, Mario can swim in the water, so who cares if you stay in it? Well, this guy over there, he does. The boss bass, Cheep Cheep, is swimming left and right and jumps out of the water. It's, only it's crazy how fast happens. the boss bass this moves in Mario 3. So annoying to avoid. It's scary, man. It's an insta kill. If he gets you, he eats you. That's it. GG. There's also what? a version of that fish in Super Mario <laughs> Yeah, I told you. 64. 64 yes. Yeah. And you know what? He does the same thing if you approach him. He it's on Mario 64 DS. Yoshi's Island again. Yoshi's Island is full of enemies, yeah. some threatening. This and this version of Baby Bowser is kind of the scary. I'm not gonna lie. Baby Bowser, which doesn't sound threatening at all. I mean, it's kind of easy to beat. You just have to time your ground pounds, and that's it. You beat him. Good job. Wait, what's going on? Well, using Kamit's magic, Baby Bowser turns into the biggest version of Bowser ever made in a Mario game. Now this one is scary. To defeat him, you have to throw eggs in its direction. You know, he's scary and also very much, hard to because beat. Because if he manages to get to you, well, he crushes you along with the entire stage. As I mentioned before, I like Super Mario 3, and few enemies are scary. 
However, how do you pull that off? The scariest <laughs> enemy is not even a member of King Koopa's army. I'm talking about the sun? Yep, in Mario 3, mm. even the sun wants you dead. Look at this face, okay? Now that is some pissed off sun. Nah, <laughs> pissed Mario off sun. Wrong? Like, did he put too many sun lotion? What can piss off the sun so much to make him that angry? That's the only time I've seen such a scary sun. Oh no, you know Are what? You sure? Scratch that. That sun yeah. was the most scary <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> I was about to say, that's not the scariest sun ever. The boos have always been an important part of the Mario series, being present in almost every Mario game. I hear Luigi's Mansion music in the background, so is it going to be King Boo? ...and most annoying levels ever. And I mean the ghost houses. But the boos aren't really dangerous by themselves. I mean, if you look at them, they close their eyes and they stop moving. That's not very scary. The scariest part is their leader, King Boo. Why is King Boo so scary? Well, first of all, look at him! Now that's scary, okay? And second of all, well, he is the first enemy that actually managed to capture Mario and force someone else to rescue him. Knowing that an enemy can capture the almighty Mario, now that is some scary stuff. Ooh, somebody captured Mario. Big Boo's Hunt? Now, you're yeah. probably expecting this one. In Mario 64, there was one world called Big Boo's Hunt. Is it going to be like that moving eye thing? Because if not, that's a ridiculous a enemy to have. The, the stage in itself is kind of creepy. I mean, you get attacked by books with giant pointy teeth in the library. Giant eyes are looking at you. And in the basement, there's a merry-go-round spitting fire while playing oh, so it's not the eye. creepy song. But the scariest enemy comes from this room. At first, it seems like an empty room without anything interesting. Oh, okay, it's the it's the piano. it's the eating well, piano. Yeah. I will use this piano to play the Super Mario. <laughs> oh my God! What is that was edited horribly. <laughs> Super Mario 2 is such a weird game compared to the other Mario games. But then it's kind of expected when you know that at first it's not even a Mario game. Yeah, Doki well, Doki Panic, we all know that. Some elements from the Zelda series, having locked doors and forcing you to find keys to unlock yep. them. Yeah. Oh yeah, Phantom. You never saw in Zelda, however, is this. Those mask-like creatures are named Fanto and they are the protectors of the keys, I guess? Because if you try to snag a key, well, they come after you and they won't let you go. You better drop that key, because if you're not dropping that key, well, they'd be following you forever and ever. Now that's scary. Now that's scary. That's more, of, again, but the same with the Red Fan Fish, that's a bit annoying to me. Dire Dire Ducks from Mario 64. Such a relaxing stage. Oh, it's gonna be the eel. Yeah, the eel is kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. Let's swim in the ocean and enjoy life. Those voices are way quieter. You can barely hear him. Let's go check it out, shall we? What is that? What is that? Oh my god! <laughs> If you think basic Mario enemies, you either think Goombas or Koopas. But these two enemies are not very scary. They cannot make the list, obviously. Well, actually, you know what? The Goomba may be the scariest what very, enemy what in the variant? Mario universe. Oh, oh, you don't believe me? Well, that's just because you're not looking at the correct Goombas. What variant? Let me show you the Goombas from the Super Mario Brothers Oh, movie. yeah. No, not that scary. Well, technically, everything about this movie is scary. Exactly. She looks like a dinosaur from Jurassic That's Yoshi, Park, by the way. And Bowser is some sort of weird That's old Bowser. blonde man. What were they thinking when they made that? Well, why are they hiding behind the Goombas, man? This into this. How is that even possible? That's actually true. How do you turn that into that? Without any doubt, the scariest Mario enemy ever. Thanks for watching. If you want more scary things in Mario games, check out the latest episode of VG Mind okay. where I show you what I mean I'm glad Nico's improved his content ever since, but to be honest, some of those enemies weren't even scary. So yeah. At least, you know.
I mean, at least the main thing we can take away from this is that the Goombas in the, this Mario movie are not going to be scary at all. 